today we are going to be making tea, um, specifically Indian chai. And the southern... American tea. American tea. American... I would say southern. Yeah. Iced tea. Southern sweet tea. Sweet tea. From America. Yeah. <laughs> so before we get started, one of you wanted to see if Aleka could pronounce your name. So we're going to see if she can say it. <laughs> you ready? You go first. Okay. So here's the first name. It's D-E-E. P A K. This is hard. And she's learning to read, so can you read it? D Bake. P is the P. Oh. D Bake. Yeah. Okay, Bake. so I would say. So I think for most Americans that would just be reading that, they would probably say Deepak. <laughs> but I think you said Deepak. Deepak. Can you say it? How do you say it? Deepak. 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 How we did, or how Aleka did. Is it thumbs up? <laughs> I get thumbs up. All right. Tell them bye. Right, tell, them, tell them bye. Bye. <laughs> so we make our tea a little bit different at home than they do in India. Um, we're usually in a hurry in the morning, so we found a way to make it easier. And it took us a long time to kind of perfect our tea. Yeah. Um, it took months for us to get our tea the way we liked it here. Um, so we'll show you first how we make our tea, our Indian tea here. And then I'll show you how we make American sweet tea, yeah, southern, southern sweet tea. Southern sweet tea. <laughs> so Prashant makes his tea a little bit different in the mornings. He uses the Indian powdered tea, or is it called powdered tea? Chai powder, uh, you know, tea powder. Tea powder, and I use tea bags. Um, so which one are we gonna do first? Um, I'll do the um, loose tea, tea powder, and then we can show them like how we use okay. the tea bag. Mine is a lot quicker. Yeah. So we buy um, tea powder from India and bring it back home. And then we use Nido milk powder. You can also use just regular whole milk, but we like the flavor of the Nido powder. So we just use this container to keep our tea in. What was that? Seven rupees off. <laughs> Is that a rupee? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of your next purchase. Yeah. So I'll just start with the one cup of water. Warm it up for 30 seconds. And then once it's warm, I'll just add the tea powder to it. Um, a tablespoon of the tea powder that just Maggie showed you. Show you guys. It's and then we will just set that aside for maybe one or two minutes um, to soak that tea flavor in the water. The first time when I met Maggie, you know, she asked me one day, would you like to have some tea? That's like in the first week. So I told her, so we have like the tea powder in it. So I'm just going to set this aside for maybe two or three minutes just to soak that in. So Maggie asked me, like, would you like to have some tea? I said, yes. Uh, so she made some tea and brought it to me and it looked like our Sulaimani, Katanchaya, uh, just black tea and um, with ice in it. And she said, like, um, she handed it to me and then it's cold. I never had iced tea or never heard about iced tea before uh, at that time. Um, so I tried it um, and I asked, like, what's this? So she said, like, this is a southern sweet tea that they used to drink growing up and that's one of the, um, that's the tea that she drinks. Um, so I told her about our tea and um, I said like we add milks to it, milk to it. Uh, our tea is like, this is our Sulaimani or Katan Chaya. Um, our regular tea, we call the regular chai, that's, we add milk to it. 
So when he said they add milk to the tea, all I could think about was our American sweet tea with ice in it and then pouring milk into that. And I thought that just sounded terrible. Um, so he made me yeah, so, Indian tea. <laughs> so I made her some Indian tea. It was at okay. That time. It was okay. It was okay, but she, you know, when somebody is like just introducing something at the first time, she wasn't a great fan of it. Um, she still favored probably sweet tea over the Indian tea that I made, but... We went to India. Where were we? In Chennai? In Chennai, uh-huh. You were... What were we in Chennai for? Um, you were getting your visa? Yeah, we were interviewing and stuff. Uh, so yeah, we had there. to go to Chennai to get his interview to come to the U.S. And we were at a hotel there. And we went for breakfast that morning. And they had like a pot or a container. Yeah. And yeah. I thought it was coffee. So I filled up my cup. I was like, this is the best coffee I've ever had. And I just kept going back for more and more. I don't think I've ever had yeah, that, that many guy, cups. That guy would give you <laughs> they like... They thought I was crazy, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, and Prashant was like, that's tea. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's really good. So while we were there the whole time, like I would come down throughout the day and ask for more, more chai. <laughs> and like in one week, she was hooked. <laughs> um, it was so good. Yeah, it was so good. And then when we got back here in the U.S., we had to try so many different brands to find out like the same taste and stuff. And we still... Yeah, I was not very good at making it. It yeah. took a long time to figure out how how to make it taste really good. And so, now we drink tea mostly every day. Yeah. And I like good. the way I make it. He makes his different. Yeah. So we'll show you his way and we'll show you my way. So the tea um, dry powder, is, it's been sitting there for at least two or three minutes. Now I just add um, sugar to my cup. I don't add too much sugar because I don't like too sweet. And then we use this milk powder. The needle powder. Needle powder. Maybe two tablespoons. You don't then, warm it again? Yes, I do. Uh, and then we warm it again for another one and a half more minutes. All so, right, so Prashant has lost his mind. Yeah, videoing is messing me up. Usually, not 30 seconds, the first time when we warm the water up, that's like one and a half minutes or two. Uh, I messed up there. And then you let it sit. And then I let it sit for two to three minutes. I think I only did 30 seconds. And then you heat it up again for another minute and another a half. Another minute before we make the tea. Yeah. And then here's a strainer. Strain all that. In India, we make like really froth from mixing it. Yeah. But here we don't do that. Maggie so they some pour it back and forth. Yeah. Maggie, sometimes you have like that. Mixer. Yeah, I bought a frother. It's over there if you want to use it. Nothing. <laughs> so this is our Indian chai. Nalaptani Nada Chai. And some people put cardamom. Yeah. What else? Cloves maybe? Cloves. We I prefer it. Yeah, I prefer it without. I um uh, sometimes I draw I like the taste of cardamom with it, but I would prefer this, you know, plain chai over that sometimes we do for a change so i'm going to show you the way i make tea is a whole lot faster and so much easier um we just buy the tea bags um we don't have one tetley yeah. so we just buy the tea bags we buy the tetley british blend and so i use two i put it in the measuring cup and put about one cup of water in it So I do hot water from the sink because it draws the tea out a lot faster. And then a minute and a, a minute and a half in the microwave. So my tea is ready. And I like a lot of milk powder. So I'll do probably half a scoop or more. I don't know how much that is, but at least that's more a than, lot. Yeah. <laughs> more than two and tablespoons. Then I use kind of like a Splenda sugar so no calorie and i do three packs and then i 
just squeeze the tea bags. I think most of them, well, more Americans I think are drinking tea and coffee these days, but I think mostly Americans, if they drink tea, it's going to be like black like this or flavored tea. And um, I think that's mostly in Mississippi or in the south, uh, in the north we here. We typically don't drink hot tea. Yeah, in here. Yeah, more, I, more Northern American drink. I talk to a lot of people who add milk to it and drink like the way that we do in India. So I think in New York and like states like this, there, there is more people who are from different culture background who came here and then probably start using yeah. different stuff. Most people that I know in Mississippi do not drink hot tea. Yeah, they're all, usually coffee. It's mostly like sweet tea or coffee. One thing I like to do is add whipped cream to my tea. Makes it really good. And then sometimes I'll sprinkle a little um, cinnamon or pumpkin spice on top to make it pretty. <laughs> Where is the pumpkin? So I'm gonna sprinkle a little pumpkin spice on top. So we have our chai. Can you see mine? Oh. <laughs> our chai. So good. Mm. See, you can see yours in the bottom. <laughs> oh, yeah. The <laughs> Do you have whipped powder. cream in India? I'm sure you probably can find it. Because <laughs> what we never tried it as a whipped cream in India. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to make southern sweet tea. So you can make sweet tea a couple of different ways. You can either use the tea bags or they make a um, like an instant tea powder um, and it's a dissolvable powder so you don't have to strain that. Um, Prashant's telling me to slow down. <laughs> if I talk too fast, please let me know. I'll try to slow down. So I use about four tea bags um, and maybe two cups of water, I don't know. And while that is boiling, um, we use a pitcher and I think this is, yeah, it's two quarts. Um, so for Southern tea, we don't make it by the cup. You make it by the pitcher <laughs> because you drink it all the time. So we have it with lunch, dinner, and all, all throughout the, the Yeah, throughout the day. All day, yeah. So you make it by the pitcher. Southern sweet tea is very sweet. We use a lot of sugar. Um, I'm not even sure how much, so I'm going to measure it. <laughs> not probably good for diabetic patients. No, if you're diabetic, don't drink this. <laughs> That's a lot of sugar. I don't know how much this is. Oh, it uh, says. This scooper is 90 cc's, 90 mls. That's a lot. I'm going to measure yeah, it. That's probably good though. I usually use six scoops. Six scoops Scoop, of one, that? Yeah, two. I think it's two cups. God, that's a Three. lot. <laughs> Four. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm glad we don't drink Four. sweet tea. Yeah, that's a lot. At house. It's six cups, so it's probably about a cup and a half. Probably about a cup and a half. I think my sister uses two cups of sugar. I may have to call her and see. I haven't made sweet tea. Probably in the last 10 years at least. Oh, well, I made it once or twice while we were in Mississippi. So yeah. I haven't made sweet tea in a long time. Um, it's not something Prashant drinks, so I don't. Yeah, and then it's too much sugar it. and then we don't make it. Yeah. So I let the tea boil for a couple of minutes and then press the tea bags out. When I was growing up, we always used the instant tea. I never used tea bags. Um, my what? sister uses tea bags. What's the instant tea means? Instant's the powder tea. Just like what we powder. did? Well, you don't have to strain it though, it just dissolves. That's oh. what I said a while ago. But my sister uses tea bags and her tea is the best. So at Christmas, Thanksgiving, that's what she has to bring is the tea. Because everybody loves her tea. 
right. So I got my 10 pounds of sugar. We'll pour it in. I texted my sister to see how much sugar she used. This is a cup, but I think it's more. I think we use more. I just remember growing up, it was always six scoops. Lord. Six. You had yeah. to have six. Be a lot of sugar. So stir that, let the sugar dissolve. So in northern U.S., they usually call it iced tea. Um, if you're in a restaurant in the south, you either say sweet tea, which is what most people order. It's sweet tea or unsweet tea. Uh, and you know automatically know it's coming iced. Um, you never say tea and get hot tea. You're not considered southern if you drink unsweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then you just pour the tea into the jug, the pitcher. Let me do this over the tea. So you pour it in and then you fill the rest up with water, cold water. Then you stir it a little bit. done the best way is to put it in the refrigerator and let it sit overnight and then it tastes a whole lot better the next day you want it to give time to sit and cool off and then I think the flavor is a whole lot better the next day so the reason you need to let it sit in, in the refrigerator overnight is because when you pour it over the ice the ice will melt and then the tea is still kind of lukewarm it's not really cold so it's best to get the tea really, really cold in the fridge and then ice it. So we've got a cup full of ice. And that's it. That's it, baby. Southern iced tea. <laughs> and on a hot day, this is what you want. <laughs> yeah. Southern sweet tea. Southern sweet tea. Tastes so good. good. <laughs> so we have our tea. And we like to have our tea with these Biscoff cookies. They are the best. Yeah. These are the ones you get on Delta Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> so I always yeah. get those. <laughs> They're so good. We like the Parley. What are they? Parley yeah, G? Parley, Parley G? G? I think Parley G. That, Parley, uh, we Parley get biscuits. in India. The Maybe Parley biscuits. In India. Those are pretty good too, but they're not as sweet. Yeah. Um, these have a little cinnamon flavor kind of, but these are my favorite. And I like to dip them in my tea. Yeah. You want one? Uh, no, I'm good. I okay. know, darling. Just go for it. <laughs> That's how I like to have mine. Yeah, when we are in India, we um, used to get some kind of cookie. Um, not cookies. We call them biscuits. Um, there with our tea. Mm. And she likes the, you like the Indian uh, biscuits. Mm -hmm. When we are there, it's not as sweet. Aleka likes these biscuits too, or these cookies dipped in the tea. She doesn't really drink tea yet, but she likes the cookies dipped yeah. in it and she'll eat the cookies dipped in tea. We hope you enjoyed the video. It's kind of fun to show the differences in um, American things versus the Indian way. Um, so we, we like doing that. So maybe we can come up with some more ideas. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Video Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye.